Jetzt lass mal reingehen. Ich bin wirklich gespannt, was Super Cup Blondie für einen Bestand hat. Okay, so yes, this is my teaser. Yeah. Ah, And cool. This actually has a lot of sentimental value because yeah. Erste Uhr. when I was Erste 17 Uhr. and cool. I moved to Switzerland from Australia, I was on exchange. Yeah. And I met my would-be husband when I was 17 from Switzerland. It was my 18th birthday when I lived there and he has always loved watches as well. And so he gifted me this for my 18th birthday. And what's quite cool is that, is that it has 18 diamonds in it. So nine on this side and nine on this nice. side. <laughs> so I quite like this because this was really my first like, wow, I have a Swiss yeah. watch. <laughs> cool. And I'm only 18 years from old. Swiss with diamonds. Yes, I'm a Swiss boyfriend and it's got diamonds. And I was just like, wow, you know, like Swiss watch. Because in Australia, if you say you have a Swiss watch, I mean, yeah. you're going it's places, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, you made it, you know. So yeah, that, that's, that's cool that's to say. Sense. Sentimental value for that, me. That was your iced out thought. Yeah, that was my <laughs> iced out thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually, I, I was like, where's all the diamonds on the face? Uh, yeah, yeah. I need more diamonds. <laughs> But you also solve this uh, wish later down yes, the line. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You got to start somewhere, and yes. this was an amazing place to start for me. I was like, no, wow. Of course. Let's do. Uh, we'll do this one. Tag so Monaco. Sehr, sehr gute Uhr. Gefällt mir auch. Ich habe jetzt keine. Wir verkaufen sie auch jetzt nicht so gut, aber ich finde die Uhr cool. Monaco and a Tag Heuer, as you can mm -hmm. see. And this is a limited edition piece. I believe there's only 200 of them. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, I've never seen it in person. Yeah. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Out of all the watches here, you're like, all the wow. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> so, so this I actually was gifted by Tag Heuer because I was a friend of the brand mm -hmm. for a couple of years. Yeah. And this I was gifted at the, the latest uh, Monaco F1 Grand Prix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I always saw these blinged out like Frank Muller watches on their wrists and I was like, oh, wow, one day. Day, I'm gonna own a Frank Muller, right? Did so yeah, so so this when we got a little bit of uh, of money, we were like, oh, like is this a moment? Should we get a Frank <laughs> Muller? And so yes, we ventured into this. This is like it's the Casablanca. Was man so sagen muss, also derjenige, der mich quasi betreut, der den Vertrieb leitet äh, vom Kaufmännischen her für diese UAE und Asien und so weiter. Und die sind äh, befreundet auch mit Super Cup und die dadurch kommt auch diese Connection, man sieht häufiger mal Frank Müller auch bei Supercup und die auch jetzt im Instagram-Feed und so weiter. Das ist halt freundschaftliche Beziehung da und ich finde es äh, cool. Ne? Also ich meine, ja, was soll ich sagen? It's not blinged out, it's not iced out or anything else, but it's a very nice watch and, and my husband loved it. So I was pleased with that. And then we went crazy. We were literally went crazy hours. Yes. <laughs> we got like full blinged out, like iced out, bright yellow strap. Um, and yes, this has been... In the video, right? This is on, YouTube. on the video. Yes, yeah, you might have seen it. Yes. Uh, this is was actually a gift as well for my husband, Nick, uh, for his birthday. Wow. And we went in, we decorated the whole. Ah, see, that's the Dubai, that's the Dubai line. Full of balloons, I and he had that, his, uh, his eyes blindfolded. Video. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what's cool about this is it's crazy hours, so you mm -hmm. can see all das of the numbers. Springt. Das ist auch übrigens die nächste limitierte Uhr, die wir mit Frank Müller rausbringen, in demselben Slim Case und dann mit dieser Komplikation. Are in different positions. Random, basically, yeah. Right, and then it will flick to the next one, exactly. which is very next cool. Hour. So this is always something that schön. people are surprised by. Yeah. It's like a novelty, you know, it's a conversation piece. So when he's wearing this out at dinner, you might have someone who has a, a one million dollar watch, but they're still impressed by this because yes. it's like, it's a cool complication. It yeah. is, it is. And yeah. it's also the typical tonneau shape of Frank Müller, the yes. typical numerals. And I like the crazy hour concept. They also have normal pieces and then they have these crazy pieces, which yes. I also like. Yeah. I think having a blinged out watch in the collection is a good choice. <laughs> you need one of these, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> And then I also awesome. got one for myself. It's yeah. pink. Yeah. I didn't bring it today. Ah, yeah. You wear it a lot, huh, in the videos. I wear it a lot. Yeah. And that's why I didn't bring it, because Süß all of these are yeah. in my safe. And that one was just at, at home in my yeah, jewelry yeah. box, I forgot. <laughs> And so uh, I wear that all the time. Uh, it's just, uh, it, again, for me, it was like, oh, this yes. is my first I start blinked out watch. Wow, it's like bright You were like, let's like, go. Yeah, I was like, let's do it, you know. What's this one here, for example, yeah. the okay. Rolex Daytona, a very special piece? Yes, so this one here, this is probably my favorite Daytona yeah. out of all of them. I absolutely Price love the I just know. think it is so beautiful, the emerald green and the and, and the gold. And um, it probably has, uh, like, if you look at it, it has, a few scratches because Wunderschön, I actually love wearing it. But that's good. You know, that's good, yeah. it's like you either have to buy them to protect them always and sell yeah. them on, or you actually enjoy them. And you just scratch them. I, I, <laughs> and the first scratch I made on, I was like, ooh, 
but that's always the worst one. Probably yeah. like with cars. Yes, the true. first reaction of watch, you're like, oh man. And then they just pile up. Yeah, 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 yeah just, exactly. You get so many cars in the doors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this one I absolutely love. This really, I actually fitted the band to fit my husband, and then I made him give it back to me. Yeah. And I refitted <laughs> it to my wrist. <laughs> and then you went into the Patek Philippe Nautilus space here. Yes. So this one here is, again, for my husband, I'm very generous like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I need to find a wife like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're out there, DM me, okay? Yeah, chuck a comment in the comment section. So actually, this this came before the Daytona. This was our very first purchase where we went from things like this, mm -hmm. this, this, to, holy shit. Mama, we made it. Like, wow, we've got a Patek, you yes. know? And um, at that point, we couldn't afford the, the um, rose gold or yeah. the, the um, gold gold, yellow mm -hmm. gold. So we got this one, and actually, we decided to keep this all this time because it's a very understated kind of piece, and it you is, can yeah. get away with wearing this to a lot of places. Yeah. So I actually really, really love this, and my husband wears this a lot. But also it's a watch that people who now want it, and if you wear it, they know what it is, and they respect you. And it's usually a watch where you know the guy or the, the woman in your case has more watches at home. <laughs> right, right, right. Because it's usually not your first piece. Well, it as was well, ours. So <laughs> yeah. It was kind of our first, like, uh, for raw into, like, the, the crazy watch world. We just so, jumped in. Yeah, it. we just jumped in uh, with a Patek. And it's that was a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, thank you. Beautiful piece with a powder reserve indicator on the top, moon face as well. Yes. A very uh, sought after model now, and... So how much are we looking for this one? I have no idea. I have no idea. Like, I'm, the sure watches... I'm sure the people watching will know. 100%. Chuck it in the comments. I mean, it's crazy yeah. when you think I'm holding like yeah. the value of you know Home. someone's house. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's it blows my mind. To well, this, this is day. this is a village, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> like, a Swiss some, village. A Swiss village. Places, this is a tiny little Swiss village. Yeah. Uh, um, some bars in them. This. So when we got this, we were like. You know, wow, yeah. this is cool. So and that's also, that. you have very nice Audemars Piguet pieces yes. here. A very sporty watch yes. with the with the chronograph. Um, the Royal Oak, ah, 1972. Ah, Genta, okay. A very cool. sporty piece. Chronograph is something I see you like that. Blau ist, sagen wir mal, ne, das das teuerste momentan. Aber ich finde auch Schwarz gerade mit dem Stahl ein toller, toller Kontrast. Tolle Uhr auch. Because it's connected to racing as well. Huh? You can measure the time. Yes. With a closed case back, so it's an older model. Yes. Again, how did you let's say come into let's buy an AP now? Yeah. Um, so. There were three brands that we really mm -hmm. wanted, right? So uh, one was the AP, mm -hmm. one was the Patek, one was the Rolex, yep. <laughs> of course. And uh, mm -hmm. so we thought, well, why don't we try and get yeah. one of each as our yeah. first, like, bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, now we've got one of each. Exactly. So this was the moment where we went from ah. <laughs> this to this. Wow, right? krass, the, stimmt. This wasn't Sieht schon ähnlich period, aus, ne? But, uh, my husband really wanted krass. this one, and actually I wanted this baby right here. So you can wow. see this one's ah, the Ah, perpetual and calendar. And this what is, I love wow. is the back as well. Yes, Tolle, wow. I mean, this is a true watch lover's piece, huh? It's yeah. a perpetual calendar, yeah. which is, in Toll. watch collecting, the high inspection, right? You know the one we were talking about from Frank Muller with that, those crazy complications, yeah. like almost 40 complications? There's one complication in there that waits for 300 years yeah. to tick once to correct the time. Oh, Isn't that mad? It's amazing. It's amazing. And you have to, if you think about, let's say cars are big, right? You have yeah. a lot of space. Yeah. But with watches, there's probably three, 400 components in this watch alone. So tiny. Das ist doch ein schönes Wort. Wir haben jetzt die Hälfte ungefähr geschaut. Das ist Teil 1. Teil 2 wird folgen. Swiss Watch Gang, sehr, sehr coole Gäste. Also wir haben auch noch immer ein anderes Video, was wir schauen müssen. Erstmal werden wir jetzt ein bisschen weiterziehen, sonst ist es einfach zu lang. Aber äh, finde ich wirklich äh, sehr, sehr coole Gäste.